Yeah, hi, um, thanks for having me. Um, John Azevedo, I'm partners with my dad and my brother at Azevedo Dairy. Um, we farm about 500 acres, kind of a half and half rotation between alfalfa and corn and uh, winter forages and some sedan. Great, great. And what was your guys' decision making? It sounds like drip irrigation is kind of a new thing for you guys. So what was your decision making going from a flood system to a drip irrigation system? Well, we just kind of have a limited amount of water, so we had to kind of just spread it out a little more efficiently and get, get across these fields in a little more timely manner, irrigating and help supplement the rest of our acres, kind of be able to move a little more water around. So. What are the, the challenges you guys are coming across from going from a flood system to a drip? Um, it's just kind of the management, I guess, is a little bit different. Um, the alfalfa, it's a lot of it's a lot more uh, maybe gopher management, rodent management, um, fixing tape and keeping up on the gophers with uh, either traps or bait or owls. So in terms of what, how it changed your nutrient management practices and your fertilization rates coming from a flood system to a drip system, how does that all change? The alfalfa on drip, we kind of just, every, every cutting we just kind of spoon feed a little bit of fertilizer to it, which makes it a little bit, it's easier and it's uh, probably a little more efficient than just applying it all once or twice throughout the year like we have been doing. Um, on the corn, we the corn and oats, we it's about the same. We just kind of spoon feed it throughout the season as it needs it. Um, we're not we're not putting as much on or planting, and we're not coming back with a side dress like we used to on the corn. Um, we still spread manure and work it in in the fall, and we're. We're, work, we're trying to apply surface uh, water from our lagoon in the winter also Great. to supplement. So. If so what advice would you give other farmers or dairy producers out there about, you know, be aware of or, or recommendations for going from a drip or going from a flood to a drip irrigation system? Well, everybody just has a different situation or set of circumstances. Um, water cost, I guess, is the biggest factor in availability. So. You'll definitely save water, um, maybe it's probably some labor with the drip system. Um, yeah, I mean, applying manure and uh, applying manure and lagoon water is just that's the that's probably the trick if you still want to apply it on your corn or your oak ground. But yeah, that's about it. Great. Well, thank you, Johnny, for your time today here at As Video Dairy. Thanks, Johnny. Thank you, John.